Yeah, maybe this is the perfect weekend to pick a pet at the Calgary Humane Society. We're being joined by Phil Fulton, who is here now with some very cute kittens, some cute and cuddly animals, as well as some others to talk about. Yeah. So tell us, who do we have here? These are all kittens from the same litter. Yeah, so uh, these little two-month-old kittens, or three-month-old, uh, hey, quit chewing <laughs> on my mic. Hey, you can't do that. <laughs> Someone wants to talk. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't pay a deposit for that. Uh, so uh, <laughs> you are holding Toby, uh, and uh, I have Charlie here. He's probably the most active of the bunch. Uh, and then the little black kitten is the only female, and her name is Sylvie. So these guys all came from the same litter, mm -hmm. all very distinct colorings. Uh, and the reason is that uh, cats actually have the ability to have litters with multiple fathers. Right. So potentially, these guys could have uh, same mother but different fathers all in the same litter oh they're so cute yeah. so but they can be separated they can yeah and even when we're talking about kittens sometimes it's best to uh, uh, to separate them because when you have kittens in the home you want to make sure that they're bonding to the human and not necessarily growing up only bonding to the other kitten mm -hmm. obviously having adult cats in multiples is, is great and uh, wonderful but uh, for kittens we usually recommend just getting one at a time also because they're a ton of work <laughs> yeah, I have a little escape artist going on here. Yeah. Uh, they sure are cute, and there's lots to check out in studio. So, okay, so these are all looking for homes. Yeah. And we have some other pets to talk about. So Absolutely. Let's, who's Gunter? Gunter is another uh, wonderful cat that we have at the shelter right now. Uh, I like to call Gunter the Nick Nolte of cats. Uh, <laughs> he looks a little bit, uh, a little rough around the edges, but man, he is awesome. Very friendly one. Uh, then we have Sean and Taz. They're a bonded pair of dogs. Okay. They actually are part of our adopt from foster program uh, so we don't have them in studio anymore but you would go to the foster parents house to uh, meet and adopt them okay. uh, and just contact us and we'll set that up and then Allie I saw was the next one up there yep. is a little, <laughs> uh, is a little uh, guinea pig who uh, as you know I love guinea pigs awesome first time pet so if somebody's looking for a first time pet for the family Allie would be a wonderful guinea pig friend uh, and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, uh, we've got uh, Taiga. Taiga is a crested, or uh, rather a water dragon. And so this is a very high, high maintenance pet. Uh, when we talk about exotic reptiles, we always say you want to know what you're getting into. Yeah, uh, about a little over a foot long, but high, high, high care requirements with these exotic reptiles. You need to know what you're getting into. Uh, not your average guinea pig. Right. Uh, and uh, we can offer a lot of uh, advice and support, but the best, p best place to get your information is from your veterinarian. Okay, so yeah. you want to make sure that you're informed before you take a pet home, but you guys are also a great resource. You're exactly. so well equipped there. Exactly. Okay, and so how many kittens, are there, is there only three left of this litter? Yeah, so let's just talk about that real quick, because these guys are the only ones that are left. Uh, and as you know, we have a real hard time getting black cats adopted. And I can guarantee you that we're probably going to have the same situation with this really? guy. Really? Just of superstitions? The two, I think that it's mostly what it is, is people pass over a black cat for a more colorful cat. And if you look, you're holding a beautiful gray and white tabby uh, with beautiful blue eyes. And then you've got this other guy who wants to show his butt to the camera. Uh, and so these two have had two visits already. This little black cat, Sylvie, no visits. Oh, no. No visits, Jill. Sylvie needs a visit. What are we going to do? Especially on Thanksgiving weekend. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much, Phil, for joining us. We'll put links up on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. And Mike Yanni is down at Fort Calgary getting ready to kick off the NHL season. Mike?